Do you guys remember that salvage store that me and Dan went to a while ago? Well, I have two more fans from there again because I went back today. And the first one you can see down there, it's a Little Menards uh, Highline 42-inch hugger in antique brass, completely new in the box, unused. Pretty decent fan. It's all right. I've already put it up and recorded it. And the other fan I brought home is this. And you're probably wondering, why do I have this? Well, it was $15. Well, I think it was like $17. Anyways, and then a, I was already going to buy it, but then it was half off. So I ended up only paying $9. And they wanted uh, $9 for that fan, and I got it for like 4 So yeah, I paid $14 total for these two fans. But anyways, this fan was just so cool, I couldn't pass up on it. I wanted to see how good it was. And I'm actually happy to say that this isn't a piece of crap. Usually, I roast on Westinghouse. I'm not their biggest fan. However, this fan's actually pretty good. The airflow is really good. The uh, The blade quality feels nice. Uh, the metal quality could use a little bit of improvement, but it's definitely not horrible. Overall, I'm quite happy with it, and it's super cool. This is just a great purchase. I'm glad I ended up buying it. I think it's from 2021, uh, I think. Don't quote me on that because I can't be 100% sure on what I, if what I was looking at was actually a date code at all. But yeah, this. Uh, and if you're wondering what it's called, I actually am too because I keep forgetting the name because I don't usually um, make myself remember Westinghouse names because Westinghouse... I'm aerialist. That's what it's called. It's called the aerialist. But yeah, um, because I don't focus on Westinghouse much, I honestly don't put as much effort into remembering the names of them all. And I've been spacing on this one. But yeah, this thing is absolutely amazing. And like, I couldn't be happier with it, honestly, for Westinghouse. It's great. Whether the rest of their fans are like that, I don't know. This was like a four or $500 fan when it was new, and someone donated it, and then I paid dirt. I, I hardly paid anything for it at all. And, yeah, there were some other things there. Um, if you remember that weird hunter thing at the front uh, that was hanging up fully assembled, and that other hunter, that cabiny one, those two were still there. And then the Minerva on the long down rod was still there. And I think there were one or two other fans that were still there from the last time. However, I passed on all of those. Um, I I could have easily bought another fan or two, but I didn't want to just blow money on anything. I bought the two that I wanted, and I just left the rest of them. Especially since a, a tons of people actually... Uh, where it is, it's a town where there's a, like a college, and you know people buy houses or rent houses... And they try to do them up in this place, you know, you get a whole bunch of stuff, like, you can get really good prices on stuff, so I want to leave some stuff for other people, too, because if they needed it. But, yeah, this fan is absolutely amazing. I really do love it. I went for the black side of the blades facing down, because I thought that would look better than the silver, and I was right. I absolutely love it. And, yeah, in terms of other things, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I reorganized this area here. It needed to happen, and it turned out pretty well. So all those boxes actually do have stuff in them. A lot of the light kits that were in some of the boxes up there and some of the light kits on these shelves all got put in some boxes just so they wouldn't be in the way when I'm messing around on the shelf. That way the shelf is mostly just motors now. But yeah, otherwise I haven't really done a whole lot. I finally wired in the pull chains and light sockets on those single fitters that are in that box there. I can't show you, but I did. The Bahama came back down as well, obviously, and I gotta go pack that thing up and put it away. But yeah, that is about all I've got for you. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you later. Goodbye.